Hey, good day. I want to show you what I'm building and the logic behind it. Okay, the goal is to create nine phases of alternating current and feed each phase into a separate coil on a nine pole stator. Okay, this will create a virtually rotating magnetic field around here because as one is at peak, the other one's approaching peak. When this one reaches peak, this one's leaving a little bit, and this one's reaching peak, and this one, and this one, and it keeps going around. While one's positive, the four and a half on the other sides are negative, and it's going around. <clears throat> okay, but there's a lot to this. Now, why use nine poles? Why not use three phase? Because three phase is destructive. It's destructive. You have your three phases 120 degrees apart. Here's your zero line. All right, one phase is at peak, the other two are in the opposite polarity. So you cannot series all three of these together or it becomes destructive, it hurts you. So you have to rectify it to fix it. That's not what you want, no. Now let's look at four phase. Even though it has eight wires, there's four lines. One, two, three, four. We're using one side of four. One, two, three, four. Okay, then one, two, three, four on the opposite side. This is four phase. Now this is constructive, which means, here's your center line again, which is also a phase, okay? While this is at zero, this is at peak, and this is at peak, and this is at zero, okay? Now you could series, because all these phases are all positive or zero at the same time, you could series these together, these four, one, two, three, four. And then you could series one, two, three, four. And you don't lose any voltage, uh, you lose you don't lose any power because they're constructive, so they could be series together. This is what you want for virtual rotation, constructive phases, not destructive. In order to act like an alternator, they have to be constructive phases. Okay, so nine phase is constructive. As long as you're getting your nine phases, this is only like four or five, but I can't squeeze them in. But nine of these, as long as they're all within the time that the first one gets back to zero, all the other ones are in between space, they evenly. Then you have nine phase, constructive. Okay, now I don't wanna put regular sine waves in because if you kind of look at this, this one goes up and down and up and this one's going up and down and up, sloppy. You have this little point when they overlap, but look, it kind of comes down before back up right there. And I don't want that in my rotation. I want that to be smooth. So what do I have to do? I have to try to get sine waves that are flat on the top. And then the next one, flat on the top. So therefore an overline, the overlay, the overlap is two flat lines. So you don't have a dip there. You just have a flat line there. So when the virtual rotation happens, the magnetic field is in full strength as this one's actually in full strength. So that way there's an overlap. So when this one reaches full strength, this one's going down, but the overlap, it, it makes it smooth per se. So that's the challenge, how to generate nine phases, a nine phase generator. And that's pretty hard to do with flat waves on the top so they can overlap each other without getting squiggly. Now I'm not gonna get it perfect because that's a big challenge, but I've tried lots of designs and lots of testing. And this is what I came up with. And it seems to be going in the cool direction enough to test and try it. Okay, voila. Okay, I went with the spiral magnet kind of configuration. Okay, and they're going to pass 18 of those coils. I got four of them in there now. Can't really see them all, but I got four of them in there now for testing. And it's gonna have 18 of them so I could get, and then I could series the opposite sides and get nine phases. Okay, so remember what I want, those flat sine waves. Now this ain't gonna be perfect because obviously I'm 3D printing and gluing magnets and hand, you know, hand winding coils. But anyway, let me give it a spin. Now I have the, oscilloscope hooked up to two phases next to each other 
Okay, two coils right next to each other so we could see the overlap, how it's overlapping, the spacing, and the flat lining and whatnot so we could evaluate. So let me give this a hand spin. Now I'm gonna let me zoom in. Okay, there we go. I just paused it. That's our wave. Now remember, it's not gonna be a lot of uh, voltage or current because that was a little hand spin. I could get it to a couple hundred milliamps each coil, but they're constructive. So remember, when that goes into virtual rotation, they all combine. Okay, so here's our wave. Now it's a little sloppy as you see, but you see how it's flat lining. It's not making, um, it's not making a peak like a sine wave. And then the yellow one is off to the right a little bit. And then the next coil will be a little off the right from the yellow. Then the next coil will be a little off the right from that one until it merges back into that blue one nice and evenly at one flat line. You see how that works? So if you would rectify all this, you would actually have flat DC with no uh, pulses in between because of that flat line. So I'm gonna spin it a little faster, try to get this wave a little higher. Let's see. Again, it's to not totally flat. You see how it has some variations in it because my work isn't perfect. But it's looking pretty good. You see how that yellow one is shifting to the right? And that's what I want, just a little bit of shift on each one. Now, according to logic, once I get all 18 of these around and nine phases, that ninth phase should be going back into the blue the same distance and connect those two top phases together. Then you will have not 18 wires that you series together to get nine phases. Then you'll have 18 wire. Oh no, 36 wire. 18 times two. There are 36 tied to get 18 wires after the nine phases are all tied in. Then those 18 wires will feed the nine phase stator to create virtual rotation. Now why am I doing this? Yeah, join Mooker, the forum in the post, and you'll be able to read all my logic, all my crazy thoughts about it, and why I'm doing higher order polyphase, polyphase of higher order, why I'm trying to create that. So hopefully I see you there.